Hey you, yeah you, have you ever wanted to hire a hitman? Not like a video game, the hitman, but like a real hitman. Now, for the sake of uh, legality, I'm. this is rhetorical, I don't mean this actually, right? What I'm saying is, what if I told you that there is a specific type of assassin called a box assassin? It is very much a very special type of assassin. Is this assassin real? That I cannot disclose, but what I can disclose is that there is a film on YouTube for free called The Box Assassin. A million views on his personal channel, seven million views on a collaborative animation channel. I did not know about this until today because YouTube was like, oh, let me recommend you this thing and ruin your productivity for the day. Purely with the thumbnail alone. I thought this was actually like a trailer or something. No, this is an entire movie. <laughs> Like, seriously. The thumbnail caught my attention because it looks like some really obscure DreamWorks or Pixar film, right? Because look, it looks so professional. It looks like, wow, that looks like very high quality animation. Which makes sense because it was made by Jeremy Schaefer and his team. Jeremy works for DreamWorks, which makes sense why this animation looks so freaking good. It's why it looks like that it has a very high budget behind it. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I'm not 100% sure about that. But what I do know is that it looks freaking good. And it is freaking good. It's so good and it's so short. I wanted more from it legitimately. I feel like a lot of the comments on that animation felt the exact same way as me. This feels like a trailer. This doesn't feel like a movie, but it is. This is the short film project and it is. It is so short, but it is so good. Regarding the movie specifically, it is dark. It's funny. Funnily enough, the animation itself reminds me a lot of Spider-Verse. I like the main character, you know, he was very minimalist, you know, he didn't have a, like a lot going for him. Like he's some pizza guy trying to deliver a pizza to the shady part of town for some reason that is totally not shady, you know? I mean, I know a lot of people have very specific pizza guy stories and this one is definitely gonna be on that list for sure. The movie is literally so short that the guy posted it to Twitter. That's how short this movie is. Which, by the way, you could easily pawn this off as the trailer to the movie, because it very much looks like a trailer, but it's not. It's the movie, which is depressing, but also kind of good, because there's not a lot of time you have to sink into this to enjoy it, which means everybody should freaking watch this because it's so good. And also regarding to that, it's one of those films that you can watch a lot of times, and you can discover new and different things about the movie, which is really cool. I always like when movies have replayable value. Gives a little speck of inspiration and knowledge to the person watching it the second time. It's, it's always cool to see. It just gives you a different perspective when you watch it multiple times. It's so hilarious because the setup for this film is 19 seconds long. That's all they needed to fully flesh out the whole premise of the movie. And what's really funny is that the setup is so blatantly obvious that there's no confusion whatsoever, which is very good for a setup. It just shows a lot of variety without feeling stale, which is very nice considering how short of a movie this is. It's so hilarious because there's one twist that you should expect, but you don't. But you really should expect it, especially Actually, no, I'm not even gonna say it. Not even gonna say it. While there are only eight characters in this movie, they all play a very important role, so that way each character doesn't feel like they're there just because. You know, they play a specific role to the story that helps flesh it out in its entirety. Overall, the plotline is just extremely simple, but with a twist, and that twist is very worth it. In general, I just wish it was longer. Just like this video. Hey, you, I have two announcements. One, I now have my freaking album out. Go listen to it on Spotify, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, iTunes, wherever you want to listen to music. Go listen to my album now. Links in the description. And then I'm also starting a podcast with Krem, Gabe, and Mateo on this channel right here. All right, episodes should be coming out this Thursday, which is like tomorrow. <laughs> Let's hope I can get the podcast episode out. But yeah, I'm going to do a weekly show with those boys. So check out all those things. Thank you for watching. So yeah, that's basically about it. Watch the short film. Listen to my album. Listen to the podcast. Let's freaking go. Huge shout out to Aria, who became a $10 patron on Patreon. If you'd also like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description.